Hey guys, today on Know Your Produce, we're making my homemade taco sauce. You're gonna love this recipe. You need a few simple ingredients and then you have taco sauce that's better than the drive-thru. You know what I'm talking about. So let's get started. I am going to be using my pan here. We're gonna turn this on. And in the pan, I'm going to add in some water. And then I'm also gonna add in one and a half cups of tomato sauce. I'm actually using strained tomatoes. It gives it a thicker um, sauce. I use the water to thin that out. Um, and you can also just leave it as is if you don't want it too thin. But if you want it thicker, you could just use it without the water. So I'm using one and a half cups of this. And then we're gonna also add in some vinegar because we want some acidity in there. Two tablespoons of vinegar. So in my little mason jar I have some paprika, we have cumin, we have some onion powder, garlic powder, we also have some chili powder, just a whole bunch of seasonings. You can get the full printable recipe on my site, I'll link that below. And we have a pinch of salt as well. I just mix them all up and then I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit. So it's almost like you're making pasta sauce, but without the Italian seasoning, you're using like Mexican seasonings because this is a taco sauce. So now that we have our seasonings mixed in, I'm gonna let it come to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes so I can get a thicker sauce. So now I'm just gonna keep mixing it. And then you can see it's kind of bubbling, so I'm gonna lower the heat and then we're gonna let it simmer now. Just keep stirring it, and now that it's calm, you can walk away a little bit. Remember, we're only doing this for 10 minutes, so it's not like you're gonna have to babysit this pan. And I'm gonna even lower this a little bit more because I don't want it to make a mess. So we're just letting it concentrate those flavors, and we'll be back in 10 minutes. So our taco sauce is done. I'm just gonna pour it into a jar. Once it's cooled, it is steaming hot. So I'm just gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna pour it into my jar using a funnel. So now I'm just gonna pour it into my jar. I'm using a small funnel, oh my gosh. And it's actually working, thank goodness. Gotta lift it a little bit. Perfect. And then you have your homemade taco sauce. Super simple to make. And you can use for all your favorite Tex-Mex and Mexican recipes. And you don't have much cleanup either, which is awesome, right? So now that our taco sauce is done, all you need to do is put on a lid once it's cooled or use it right away. This will last for four to five days in the refrigerator, but just make sure you let it cool down before you put it in the refrigerator. I like to let it cool for about 20 minutes in the pan and then put it into the container. So we hope you guys like and enjoy this recipe. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon with another delicious recipe or tip or trick. See you guys soon, bye-bye.